Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. The channel isn't strictly daily anymore, but as I said in the last video, I will still shoot videos if there's something interesting in Filament ecosystem and if I have more time. And something interesting came up, version 3.1. It was released last week with quite a few changes, quite a big new features. It's not a major version like version 4, but 3.1 is something bigger than it used to be, for example, there were, did you know, 103 minor versions with small fixes, small improvements to the docs like you see in here. So they released 103 such new minor versions since August alone. And in the background, the team has been working on version 3.1. And the most important new features are summarized in a tweet by Dan Harin. And I will link the tweet in the description below. You can check out all those features and in the official demo, they also added them. In this video, I will show you three new features, three of those. There will be more in the future maybe on this channel, but for now we implemented three of those new features in our filament examples. So in our filamentexamples.com where we have a lot of demo projects and we can use them partially to play around with new filament features as they are released. For example, we implemented the new repeater logic for distinct fields. Let me show you. So invoice editor, if we click live preview, which is public by the way, in invoice you can add many products. So we add an iPad, but then if we add another product, the iPad is restricted, so you cannot choose the second iPad for the invoice. Instead, you should use quantity for that. So how to implement that? Before 3.1, it was disable option when, and this is the commit code before and after. So before 3.1, we had to collect the values that should be disabled from the form. Now, all you need to do is add distinct and then disable options when selected in sibling repeater items. I know it's a long method name, but it describes perfectly what it does, what it's for. So don't be afraid of long method names. That's kind of a side tip for developers. And we also implemented the same thing in another demo project, choose tournament winners. Again, click live preview and we choose the country for the first position and that country is disabled from the second position because the same country cannot take silver and gold and bronze in the team sports at least. And the change, the commit of that before after is almost identical. Disable option when is replaced with distinct and that long method name. So that's the first new feature we implemented in filament examples. The second new feature is different way to have filters with queries. So we have a demo of complex table, quite a complex table with filters. And the filters are date created from until and price from until. Let's see the code for that before 3.1 and with 3.1. This is the change. So before there was filter with query for dates created from created until and then another filter with price similar logic query before until. Look at that now. Query builder make constraints date constraint created at and number constraint total price and you choose the layout that's it so this massively simplifies the code if you want to write filters like these this is the second feature i wanted to demonstrate to you and the third one probably most awaited for is import csv natively in filament without any packages so we have asset stock management and we have import button and export button and for import we used to use a package and we also written an article about that in Laravel daily but that package isn't needed anymore and this is the code for that change a bit bigger than those two previous examples but instead of doing that import action make with import field from the package and then handling record creation, you just do import action with importer and then you provide a separate class where you define all the logic of the importer. That class looks like this. You have item class as a model where to import to and then you provide the logic like import column, required mapping and validation rules and also you can provide relationship. So category name is in the CSV as name and it should be mapped to category ID in the database. And also you can provide get completed notification body with quite a lot of useful information like successful rows or failed rows. So the main message is that filament 3.1 doesn't require any external packages to import CSV. So yeah, three new features in filament 3.1. Which one do you like the most? Shoot in the comments below or maybe other features that I haven't covered yet. Maybe I will cover them in the future videos. Shoot your ideas in the comments as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.